The Kings were also the bosses in Jersey. And now the season finale here in Chicago. Y'all ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is big time volleyball. This is the MVP of the Welcome to the center of the volleyball universe. Welcome to Chicago, Illinois. Submit her life, MVP Tour Champion. of Sammy Lagana revving us up. The Miller Lite AVP Tour Championships. Welcome, everybody. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sutherland, and Bill Walton. Semi-final, Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, Adam Johnson, and his partner, Jose Loyola. A little bit earlier. Johnson Loyola looked very, very good, didn't they, Paul? Well, they're transitioning, playing good defense, and so far, Adam Johnson with the taped hand doesn't seem to be bothering him, but it's been an issue. And for Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh, blocking defense, still the euphoria from the Olympic Games, but they've got a challenge for themselves here, of course, in Chicago. They've been on the road a lot and playing a lot of volleyball. Mike Dodd will serve first. Been a pro for 15 years. He turned 39 on August 20th, the oldest man ever to win a Pro Beach Volleyball Tournament. He did it two weeks ago in Hermosa Beach. His partner, Mike Whitmar, 6'7", 210, up at the net. One game to 15. And the big block by Whitmarsh, and it's one to nothing. Whitmarsh always important for him to get off to an early start against any hitter, but against someone like Jose Loyola, who's so emotional and so explosive, get into him right away, block a ball right off the bat, make him start thinking instead of just swinging away. Off Dodd, Whitmarsh chugging, chugging, he's got it. First spiking opportunity for Adam Johnson. And he goes over the top and down. AJ and Loyola, one of the smoothest teams on the beach, both with excellent ball control, can both block, although Jose Loyola much, much better blocking at the net. Dodd with some self-defense. And like we saw, remember back at the Olympic trials, Mike Whitmar showing you at six foot seven, a phenomenal athlete. And there at the end, some of the offensive balance of AJ and Loyola. A serve. There is a definite good side here in Chicago, and Johnson and Loyola are on it. Why? Well, the wind is blowing off the lake. It's blowing in between these jam-packed bleachers. We've got about a 10, 15-mile-an-hour wind right now into the faces of Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola, and that will free them up 
to hit their jump serve even harder. Aim for the back of the court. It literally makes the court longer. Mike Whitmarsh, and Whitmarsh pounds it cross court. Whitmarsh wearing all black. And Mike Dodd in the white tank top. Interestingly now, all the players have names on their jersey. Jerseys, uh, a new mandatory rule by the AVP. And the man who really thought it up was Adam Johnson, who first came out with his name on the back of his red jersey. Jose Loyola tapping down the line, and Jose hit it out. So Dodd and Whitmarsh get their second points. A stuff blocked by Mike Whitmarsh to start things off, and they're going right after Jose Loyola, figuring that he's the offensive spark for this team and the emotional spark, and shut him down early. 2-1, Dodd, Whitmarsh ahead. Loyola pokes it out of bounds. 3-1. to one. Just like a couple of weeks ago when Adam Johnson broke his finger, it seems that underhand he's not as confident, not as accurate as he was earlier in the season. You know, Jose Loyola can go over the top of any block, including Mike Whitmarsh, but you have to have swinging room. And A.J., I don't think, can set the ball as accurately, his grip, as he holds his hands together. Not as good as it used to be. Miller Light AVP Tour Championships. Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, a quick start, leading three to one. Mike Whitmarsh set to serve. Whitmarsh out of San Diego, California, has 14 career wins, 13 with Dodd. He won his first tournament back in 1992 with Brent Frohoff in New Orleans. That was the tournament that Karch ran out of food and cramped, and Dodd picking up Whitmarsh about a year later after that tournament. So Jose Loyola and Adam Johnson wearing the white tank tops. And Loyola will serve on the good side. Jose Loyola, 26 years old, out of Copacabana Beach, Brazil, and working on Whitmarsh. 3-1. And Johnson got there, spins, and he's not going to get there. Wind really yes. coming now, Paul. I'll tell you, the wind just slammed the brakes on that good hustle play by Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola. Good turn by A.J. Loyola spinning off the net. And look at changing directions completely, using his offhand, the left, and then A.J. with the wind at his back. That might land at midcourt. The wind really seems to have picked up just a little bit. All the more important that Dodd and Whitmarsh have gotten off to a great start on the bad side. 3-1, Dodd and Whitmarsh lead. Here comes Johnson, and Johnson hits it out. No touch detected. So Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh getting off to a surprisingly good start on the bad side. They lead it 4-1. Avenue Beach, Chicago, Illinois, where Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola are battling Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. Hi again, everybody. Chris Marlowe and Paul Sunderland. It's a classic matchup of epic proportions. The finger against the flu. Who has the advantage? Were those epic F words? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure who has the advantage in this one. But, of course, Chris, this time of year, after so many events, as we come to Chicago, everybody's a little bit dinged up. And Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola were on a roll. They'd won four out of five tournaments. But Adam Johnson breaks the index finger on his right hand. That certainly affected them. And Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh, the number three seeds and silver medalists from the Olympic Games, went to Portugal, won $40,000. But Mike Whitmarsh came back with a stomach virus. He's lost 10 pounds. And if they don't win this semifinal and have to drop into the bungo straights in the contender's bracket, I don't think they can come back and win. 31-year-old Adam Johnson having a tremendous year. He's won six times already. And he's moving up on the all-time charts. Well, not only on the all-time charts in terms of money and wins, but I think we've got to start talking about Adam Johnson as one of the most versatile players in the history of beach volleyball. He's won on both sides, one more victory, and he ties the all-time great Matt Gage. But Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola want to finish out the season on top, and that means a win in the semis and here in Chicago. You saw the percentages. Paul and I figured it out. Actually, Paul did 27% of the time. Johnson and Loyola win in an AVP tournament. What about Dodd and Whitmarsh? Dodd and Whitmarsh are well below that, 16, 17%. They've played, of course, more tournaments together. And Dodd and Whit had a big year last season when they won seven tournaments. And, of course, that was with the absence of the team of Karch Kirai and Kent Steffesson. They will readily admit that the gold medalists were a big factor in their good season last year. Dodd and Whitmarsh lead 4-1, have a chance for another point, and they get it. Make it 5-1. to one. Last week, Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh beat Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola 15-8. Let's go down to Bill Walton, Bill. All right, Chris, things couldn't be going worse for Adam Johnson. Remember, it was just last week, late Saturday afternoon at Hermosa, where Dodd and Whitmarsh hammered Adam Johnson and Loyola. Adam told me today that they were mentally unprepared. They didn't think Whitmarsh and Dodd could come back to the losers. They said it would never happen again, but it's happening right now, Chris. They're out of this match. Chris... 
Well, don't tell that to Johnson and Loyola who are trying to scramble around and hang in five to one, and that was a saving play there for a point. Well, really important because they stopped some momentum for Dodd and Whitmarsh, which everything had been going their way. Every tape shot, every cuff out of bounds. AJ and Loyola make a marvelous defensive play, and the wind just stops it right in its tracks. But Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola go over to the bad side, will not be able to serve quite as tough. So they got to concentrate on just playing rock solid defense and blocking some balls. But all that, of course, goes by the board if you don't keep your serve in. 5 1. Dodd and Whitmarsh leading. Now Mike Whitmarsh will serve it up. Two wins this year San Francisco and Portugal. As Whit will attack the net. And working on Loyola. They've had success there. And Loyola buries it cross court. That's what Whitmar said. He likes to face Loyola because he does like to challenge the block. Doesn't woosie it around, you know, Paul? He says Loyola just loves to bomb the ball cross court. It gets all of the rest of his game going. That's all. It all starts and comes from his offense. Try to stop Loyola early. Great dig by Johnson. Loyola must have touched it. He shoveled it over. Here comes Dodd. And Dodd on the left side keeps pummeling away. So Mike Dodd, who has won $121,000 this year so far, over $1,500,000 in his career. Just announced that Mike Dodd was the oldest player in the history of the sport to win an Open Championship, and he went uh, gimping around, having some fun with the fans. Spin serve, it's 5-1. Johnson on, pokes it left-handed. Oh, and it drops. Johnson and Loyola discombobulated. Hey, there is no excuse for that play. This is a team that's been together for a season and a half. I don't care if two total strangers go and play a little pickup at State Beach. That overset should never go down. You got to yell, you got to scream, you got to communicate, particularly with so much on the line. Six to one, could be seven to one. Loyola pivot. Nice up, Whitmarsh. Good set, open net. And Johnson 60 feet in the air. Loyola got it up. And Johnson can't get there. Point Dodd Whitmarsh. First weekend of uh, pro football, and they're chanting defense. And not afraid, to, not afraid to run into the goalposts either and let it all hang out. I tell you, these banners courtside are not something that you want to run into on your best day, and Jose risking limb, life, etc. But at the end, it is Mike and Mike. Maybe a little bit tired in a must-win situation. They've gotten out to a great start at 7-1. Don and Whitmarsh in command here in Chicago at the moment. Back in Chicago, there will always be debates about who is the smartest player in beach volleyball. Three men, three players come to mind for me. Ron Lang, Sinjin Smith, mm -hmm. Mike Dodd. In terms of timeouts and strategy, I think those are the three greatest. Good. Johnson hits it off the block out about seven to one. Dodd with Marsh are ahead. And some interesting similarities. Obviously, Mike Dodd is the tallest, so that's not what I'm getting at. Yes. But Ron Lang and Mike Dodd, not necessarily the quickest, the strongest, the greatest jumpers, but so, so smart. And of course, Sinjin Smith will always be in that category. Always have to be thinking out there. When you're ahead, you have to know how to close it out. And when you're behind, you have to know how to change it up. 7-1 is our score. Hey, Marsh. Hey, hey, oh. Nice block by Loyola. And Loyola pokes it over with for a point. Let's go down to Bill Walton. Bill. All right, Chris. Paul was just mentioning the, the quickness or the lack thereof of Mike Dodd. Coach John Wooden always told us that quickness was a mental skill about anticipation and figuring out what's going to happen first. I think that exemplifies Mike Dodd. Back upstairs to you, Chris, in the cheap seats. I think you're exactly right, Bill. Dodd has learned. A little poke there, and Loyola can't get it over. Well, if you're in the right spot, if you get the opponent to cut the ball right to you, if you're reading him like a book, then you don't have to be necessarily that fleet of foot. Adam Johnson misreading it. His timing is off. He swung at that ball. Good soft block by Jose Loyola, but no point scoring chance coming off it from Adam Johnson. Seven to two. I had a chance to ask Johnson, what part of your game is your hand affecting? He said the placement of the ball. I can't spread my hand out. I can't direct the ball. I asked him if it bothered his passing or defense. He said no. Hmm. What do you think? Well, I think it bothers his setting. Okay. Defensively, you know, you're reacting. You're trying to pop the ball up. But when he needs to make a refined yeah, move and get the ball right near the net, Wait for the end of this play. There's a good dig. Action dig. And Johnson, can he put it away? Not yet. Whitmarsh. 
to Dodd. And Loyola's got it. Can Jose hit on the right side? Yes, he can. And Jose says to the crowd, come on, Chicago. Come on, Chicago. Give it to me, baby. We're coming back, and nothing at all wrong with that great bump set from Adam Johnson. 20 feet off the net again. Jose Loyola touching a lot of balls, both getting back, reacting defensively. A.J. lining it up here and dishes it right on target for Jose. Don and Whitmarsh had the big lead, but here come A.J. and Jose. Chicago, the AVP Tour Championships. This is semi-final action. A nice day for volleyball. Jose Loyola and Adam Johnson trying to battle back. They trailed 7-1, then got two points on the bad side to make it 7-3. Now they're on the good side with a wind in their face. They should be able to serve it up. Here comes Whitmarsh. Johnson with the dig, but nobody going. To win against Johnson and Loyola, you certainly have to handle the serves, and so far, Dodd and Whitmarsh have done that. Well, you have to make them play a lot of balls, have to make them scramble, try to take a little wind out of their sails and strength out of their game from going back and just ripping jump serves, and that's why Dodd and Whit struggle and work so hard just to make sure nothing goes straight to the sand now jose loyola looks like he's gotten into his rhythm and adam johnson setting the ball a little bit off the net he's going right over the top of mike whitmarsh talked about adam johnson i don't think has been as accurate or as confident or comfortable setting the ball since he broke his right hand and when you put your hands together to create your platform to bump set the ball it it's almost you know so such like fitting like a glove right and it changes when you have of course your hands taped together and, and an injured digit well, shank pass there, Whitmarsh. So the serve setting up the point for Johnson and Loyola. Seven to four now. Well, it took a long time for Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola to get off one, but as soon as they've gone to the good side now, and the wind picking up still, maybe we we're talking 10 to 12 miles an hour before, it seems a little bit brisker than that, and Adam Johnson going to hit it right into the teeth of the, that wind. Down the line, working on Whitmarsh, seven four. Johnson with a dig. And he puts it away. So Adam Johnson, that's a tough dig to make. Open hand with the fingers all up there. Well, Adam Johnson said, look, my fingers are taped. It's not bothering me all that much. But that takes a little bit of courage to stand there and dig the ball overhand. Mike Whitmarsh has got to use the back of the court. AJ is, is really tight inside of Jose Loyola. The loopy is wide open over Adam Johnson's head. Maybe Johnson feels more comfortable digging overhand than he does underhand. Could be a factor. 450 remaining. 7-5 is our score. A reminder, tomorrow at the special time of 12 noon Eastern, the NFL on NBC kicks off another exciting season in our expanded coverage. NBC's football experts, Ditka, Gibbs, Collinsworth, Gumbel, and Rashad, get you ready for the season in football's finest hour. That will be a great one. The NFL on NBC. Want to tell you that uh, we also will have a double header lineup. Many of you will see a new era in Baltimore as the Ravens host the Raiders. Then Jimmy Johnson, the Miami Dolphins against Bill Parcells, Patriots for regional action. Football season is here. Jimmy Johnson, don't miss that. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, and Bill Walton. 7 5 now as Johnson and Loyola try to catch up. They were down seven to one and have been creeping ever since. Here's Adam Johnson serving. Dodd blocked, Whitmarsh open, and he puts it away. That was a really good save actually by Mike Dodd. The ball was set very tight to the net and when he attacked it had no intention of putting the ball to the sand, just trying to tap the ball up into the block of Jose Loyola and get another opportunity to side out. Did exactly that when he bumped the ball to his partner. 7-5. Jose Loyola. Was that a dead? No. Greg Krause is calling the ball down. But you can play the ball anywhere on your body now. It went right off Mike Dodd's foot. Of course, the question is, if Dodd's foot is under the sand, if there's a layer of sand on Dodd's foot, what about that? I guess it depends how thick the layer is. I mean, there's a layer of sand all over your body. Speaking of thick, here comes Marvin Hall to join in the debate. It sounded very much like ball on flesh when the when it was first hit. That's what I saw. Greg Krause is ruling that the that Mike Dodd's foot was buried. If we can see this, it goes obviously very quickly from Jose Loyola. 
Can't quite tell at that angle. You see all the sand being kicked up by Mike Dodd. Maybe a little bit of showmanship, salesmanship, but I'll tell you, when I heard it, I thought that's ball on foot and would have been a legal play. Score remains 7-5. to five. Jose Loyola will put the ball in play. And into the top of the net. Let's take one more look. Uh, another angle. Oh, yeah. A lot of sand coming out of that divot, though. <laughs> Well, maybe he took it a little fat, but it was an awfully good, an awfully good chance. Of course, that's one of the international rules that uh, that has become very popular, that the ball can be played below the waist now. And it's certainly uh, one of the uh, strategies employed by the Brazilians who are very good at it. Well, and, and the Americans, anytime they pl play the ball below their waist, they're screaming yeah. for anything good to have because they are the worst at it. Of right. course, not many soccer players except for Karch Kirai. I know Adam Johnson probably played a little soccer in his time and Jose Loyola, but Jose Loyola, Brazilian, of course, but Dodd would have loved to have had that play. Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola trailing by six at one point. They have scored the last four points to make it 7-5. Whitmar serving, working on Johnson deep. That's a pretty good set. And Johnson off Whitmarsh. Dodd, no, can't get there. Dodd, as skinny as he is, could not squeeze through that opening. <laughs> the thin man is not making a comeback. Adam Johnson and Jose Lerla both with picture-perfect arm swings. And when things are flowing right for them, passing and setting, really an offensive machine. 7-5. Johnson Loyola down by two. Whitmarsh. Nice shot. Yeah, good call. And Adam Johnson, who's not going to block very much because, one, Jose Loyola's bigger, jumps higher, and is a better blocker, but also because of the injured finger. That's when you can really re-injure yourself up there blocking. Don't have time to really control how you protect your hand. Drop back, faked, and Mike Whitmarsh using the back portion of the court for the easy side out. This has really developed into a side-out battle now. It was a race to seven as Dodd Whitmarsh got the early lead, but now Johnson and Loyola have really settled down. Paul mentioned Adam Johnson with 25 wins. One win, he will tie Matt Gage. Two wins, he moves into Greg Lee and Gene Selznick territory. There's high praise indeed. Whitmarsh, Johnson, beautiful dig. A little pokey there, and Johnson forced to poke it over. Oh, Shank. Shank you. Back to Whitmarsh. Shank you very much. Oingo Boingo once again. Mike Whitmarsh shaking his head. Of course, uh, hampered by the flu all week long. Has not touched a volleyball since last week in Hermosa to the beginning of this tournament here in Chicago. Because of the illness and the injury to his foot, he's taking anti-inflammatories for that and just gave a free one to AJ who returned the favor. 7-5, Dodd Whitmarsh up. Dodd got the dig. Dodd, no. It was a tough chance. Mike Dodd put the accelerator down as best he possibly could because clearly Whitmarsh falling out of bounds to bump set the ball as high as he can, as accurately as he can. And Mike Dodd's always liked low sets, particularly on his offside on the left. But Dodd not able to get there and keep the ball in play. See, Whitmarsh uh, getting a lot of serves on the windy side, and a timeout is taken. 3.48 to play. Dodd and Whitmarsh still up by two. This is the AVP Tour Championships, the final event of the year on NBC. We've got a huge crowd watching semifinal action. Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, Jose Loyola, and Adam Johnson. 7-5. Dodd and Whitmarsh have the lead. They've led all the way in this one. But Johnson and Loyola are starting to play a lot better. Johnson lining up Whitmarsh in the cross court as we were talking about, Paul, and uh, doing a nice job of it. Well, he's playing shallower defense, and he's just lined up perfectly if Whitmarsh hits the ball hard inside the block. He's popping that up with his hands. And also, by playing so short in the court, he's much closer to the cut shot, which he can get with his outside hand. And Jose Loyola jumps so high that the loopy goes over the top, and he's got time to get over and make that play defensively. 7-5. Johnson down the line he goes. Whitmarsh missed it. Johnson sizzling Woods pits. And he will have it. AJ's gotten 12 serves with seven kills here and still hits the ball extremely well from 
away from his body. Remember, he's one of the few players to win on both the left and the right. And so now that he's playing full time on the right, certainly has the whole repertoire of shots. Two point lead for Dodd and Whitmarsh. And Whitmarsh, same pattern inside the block. But AJ couldn't get a hand on that one, even though he was lined up. Mike Whitmarsh hit inside Jose Loyola, but just inside the end, out, end, end line of the court. Made an altogether different opportunity defensively for Adam Johnson. Good save there. Did he get a touch? Yes, he did. Johnson going quickly after his bad pass, but a nice save by Jose Loyola. Well, he is so athletic and quick. We don't get a chance to see him play defense very often, but at times he is uh, arguably as quick as anybody out here covering the court. Jose Loyola serving. Score remains 7-5. And Dodd, with a tired-looking effort, whacks it out of bounds. 7-6 to six now. Jose Loyola and uh, Adam Johnson, they really don't have the crowd on their side here, do they? Well, it's been that kind of match. Everybody expects so much explosiveness from them. Just high-flying bombs and ace serves, and Dodd and Witt were steady at least for a while. No! Down the line goes Mike Dodd. And now Dodd will serve. You know, we've talked a lot about Mike Dodd's athletic ability in terms of basketball, but he's also an excellent golfer. Two years ago, playing in a celebrity golf tournament, he made a hole-in-one on a 157-yard uh, par-3 and won a brand-new Lexus. Eventually sold it for $45,000. Dodd with the dig. Looking for a chip shot here. Got it! And saying it was four contacts, Johnson and uh, Loyola arguing that there was a touch at the net. And Mike Whitmarsh's body language leads me to believe that there was indeed a touch. Remember, the touch on the block counts. So A.J. and Loyola are arguing that, wait a minute, I can count. That's one, two, three, four, but no call up top by Greg Kraus. And I think players ought to do that more and more. They just shovel the ball back over the net as a blocker if you have an absolute micro touch. Put the pressure on the official to make that call. 8-6 now as Dodd and Whitmarsh get a controversial point. And Johnson and Loyola slowing it down. Johnson still uh, pecking at Greg Kraus. And a sand timeout taken by Johnson and Loyola. And Loyola goes over to Monk Dancing Marvin Hall and says, you worthless now. Just kidding. We'll come back to Chicago more after this. Home of the world champion, Chicago Bulls. No, not that boat. We're talking about Chicago when you get on land, <laughs> on hand. And that's where we are right now. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, Bill Walton, a semifinal. And it has turned into a grinder. 3.08 to play, 8-6 Dodd Whitmarsh. And during the timeout, Adam Johnson was given an earful to referee Greg Krause. That was a very, very big play. Dodd and Whitmarsh had been out, scored 5-0 as A.J. and Loyola had crept back into this match. Now, Adam Johnson got to concentrate right here on this play. Don't want to give up back-to-back -back points because of a holdover from the play before. Loyola tapping it over. The players on the AVP Tour have a... Uh, have a slogan what it's called when you kind of blow up they call blow brain when you completely go crazy and you lose your composure and you're not yourself gray matter coming out of the yeah. ears yeah so johnson and loyola trying to keep their composure they were down seven one caught up to seven six gave up a point that's where we are right now eight six dot and whitmarsh dug there whitmarsh goes and gets it and he taps it through. I'll tell you, that was a tough chance after the very good dig by Adam Johnson as he continues to rack up the digs. He's got eight now, but that ball almost hit the top of the tape coming back to Mike Whitmarsh. With all the spin off the overhand dig, hits the top of the tape, bounced right away from Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh working on Johnson. 8-6. And Whitmarsh blocks Johnson. A couple of very big scores right before the side change from the bad side for Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. A controversial call, possibly, but nothing in doubt about this. Big wit, stuffing AJ. 9-6 our score. More from Chicago right after this. Welcome back to Chicago, the Miller Lite AVP Tour Championships. This is semifinal action. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh back on the good side, leading 9-6. They were up 7-1 at one point. Johnson Loyola coming back with five straight points to pull it within 7-6, then 8-6 on a controversial touch call 
and then 9-6. So Johnson and Loyola, how did that touch call affect them, do you think? Well, I think it was certainly discouraging. You spend a lot of energy gathering yourselves together because I think A.J. and Loyola came out a little bit flat. They were not very explosive at the beginning of this match and struggled being down 7-1. So they got within striking distance and then had a couple of calls go against them. Dodd puts it through. Side out. Yeah, we've been talking an awful lot about good side, bad side, and it's always a big factor. That's why we change sides multiples of five in any big-time beach volleyball tournament. But Dodd and Witt right now have been fabulous on the bad side six of their nine points coming on what is clearly the bad side. It's just concentration and experience. And A.J. and Loyola now on the bad side give up another freebie and some breathing distance back to the 10-6 lead. Let's go down to Bill Walton, Bill. All right, Chris, the side change. I talked to Dodd and Whitmarsh. Dodd says, hey, it's all right now. we got to go concentrate on every single ball. We have the good side. We have the momentum. Time to put them away. Chris? Well, that's exactly what they're doing right now. They lead 10-6. Johnson and Loyola have to try to figure out how to manufacture points on the bad side. You can't serve as hard. You can't hit as hard. Setting is uh, more difficult. Time for Jose Loyola to block a ball. Come on. Whitmarsh, Johnson is there. And he scoops it out of bounds. Mike Dodd, he knows this court, he knows every inch if you're playing in the United States, every centimeter if it's international competition. Fabulous defensive hustle by Adam Johnson, who's putting on quite an exhibition defensively today in spite of the injured hand, and Mike is going back, going back. You see the wind blowing, he knows, right. hey, we're on the good side that's going to carry the ball long and out of bounds. Mike Whitmarsh to serve. He's tied for 20th on the all-time list with Scott Akatubby, Dane Selznick, and Henry Bergman. Three all-time greats. Good. Down the line goes A.J. I asked Whitmarsh if he'd heard of Bergman. He said, no, I don't know much about him. What did he do? That he could pummel that he thing. He could bomb. Henry Bergman, the great star of yesteryear. He used to play with Ron Von Hagen and Larry Rundle. And Whitmarsh, if he could win this weekend, would uh, move up. Actually into a tie for 20th with Brent Furhoff, who's right in front of him. Whitmarsh punches it through. Kind of interesting, Whitmarsh saying that he should have two more victories. He won two in Australia back in 1989. And he said, if you're counting wins, everybody's wins, you should count mine. See, he can't remember history far enough back for Henry Bergman, but he can remember back to Australia in 1989 as clear as a bell because he had a couple of victories. 10-6 our score. Yeah, over. And a nice up by Dodd. Mike Dodd with the Keezer Tweezer. <laughs> the Chester, but it's again, maybe not so quick, but as Bill Walton said, you got to read. It's mental being in the right spot. And look at where Mike Dodd is lined up. He's right on the spot. Good transition play. Johnson. And the score remains 11 to 6. Clock definitely a factor now. One minute. 50 seconds and 7 tenths remaining. And Johnson and Loyola need to get to 11-9 and get on that good side where their serve will be more effective. I think they still have a chance at 12-8, but uh, not making Maybe. plays right now. Jose Loyola again. When has he last blocked a ball? I don't know. You tell me. You're sitting next to the stat now. Well, I'm telling you. Okay. It was in the match before this okay. because he has no stuff blocked so far in this match. And I think that's an area of his game that has really improved this year. Whitmar serving his team up by five, 11 6. Johnson hammering cross court. And Adam Johnson won the beginning of the year in Phoenix. A good final over Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. Then a long, long drought. And then they won four in a row in Minneapolis, Old Orchard Beach, Milwaukee, and the Cuervo at Santa Cruz, which is a huge win. They split $100,000. But then, since then, a second and then the injury. So as we mentioned and talked about earlier, very important to their team, I think, to finish out the year on a positive note. Loyola and Johnson get a much needed point to make it 11-7 now. Loyola looking for the good serving spot. Trying to serve at the copper tone inflatable. That's where he wants to go, where there's a little wind coming in. And a timeout taken by Dodd and Whitmarsh. Can Loyola and Johnson come back in a minute and 39 seconds? That is the question. Part of the skyline of one of the most interesting cities in the world, Chicago, Illinois. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, Bill Walt. Minute 39 to play. Johnson and Loyola down by four, 11 to seven. On the bad side, in trouble against the very experienced team of Mike Dodd 
and Mike Whitmarsh. Dodd and Witt have controlled the match. They got off to an early lead, 7-1, withstood a rally by Johnson Loyola, and continue to lead as Johnson punches it through. Storyline in this one? I just think the very good start by Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. We've talked about AJ and Loyola being the most explosive team on the beach, jump serving, their ability to transition, really get involved with each other and the crowd emotionally. With the start that Dodd and Whitmarsh got, got some real breathing room, got off to a solid start, and then AJ and Loyola had to expend a lot of energy and concentration just to get back into this match. And now, maybe not enough time left if Dodd and Whit can side out for a long time for them to get back in it. Loyola's dead right now. And what I mean, when he does not block the ball, he doesn't have that energy. He's not playing defense behind, so he doesn't get to dig. So when he doesn't block, there's no fire. He can't rev up the crowd. If he could get a stuff, he could ignite. There is Jose Loyola. No blocks. You look at the serves. You are Cut! Johnson going through. A minute 22 to play. Score remains 11-7, Dodd and Whitmarsh. See, and Dodd and Whit, if I'm them, I'm not that concerned about scoring right now. I just want to side out and stay on the good side for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. Get this game under a minute. Because if A.J. and Loyola quickly get to the good side, and then with their jump serving, then you got a ball game. I would just think about running my offense right now. Got to get to 11-9. Here comes Dodd. Super set by Mike Whitmarsh. Four-point lead for Dodd and Whitmarsh. Let's go to Bill. All right, Chris, you were talking about the need to side out for Dodd and Whitmarsh. If they get too conservative at this point, they could lose their rhythm. With Whitmarsh passing the ball so well, I'd have him take more of the court and let him get some point-scoring opportunities. Back to you, Chris. Okay. 11-7. Johnson Loyola. And tapping down the line. So A.J. trying to fire up. Had four straight wins before he broke his finger in Belmar. Then got a fifth. I'll make that a ninth and then a fifth last week. Now, he will serve. Good call. Good call by Mike Dodd. Making extra sure, now seeing the opportunity to move on and advance in this tournament, particularly with their physical condition, as we talked about, knowing how important a win here can be. And like in the late innings of a baseball game, you don't want to give it. up the extra base hit down one of the sidelines. You protect the hubby wife area and also have an eye towards the sidelines. Don't allow the ace. 11-7. Oh, and Johnson and Loyola siding out. Their concern, however, is trying to score some points and get over to the good side. The wind is gusting off the lake. It has certainly been a factor in this one. Johnson and Loyola need to get over to the good side. And they have just over a minute to do it. Off Loyola. You think that smart strategy, having Johnson with a broken finger blocking? Why no, not have Loyola I, go up and block? I don't like it. I think the idea is, look, Jose, go back and concentrate on banging your jump serve. Yeah, okay. But I, I don't think that I wouldn't do that. I would want him up there blocking the ball. I would say, look, take a little off. You're on the bad side. You've got to serve a little bit easier anyway. Loyola blocked by Whitmarsh. Hey, that about does it. That's a huge play, but the key has been about two minutes on the clock of siding out by Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh is bothered by a stretch fracture in his foot. He can't practice during the week. He takes anti-inflammatories throughout the weekend. And getting up and over, looking pretty healthy on that play. Dodd, a time-consuming dig, and Dodd puts it down. Thirty-nine-year-old Mike Dodd doing it once again. Forty seconds to play, and Dodd and Whitmarsh are in command at thirteen to seven. Welcome back to Chicago, the Merrill Light AVP Tour Championships. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh leading 13 to 7 with 40 seconds to play. Dodd and Whitmarsh have controlled the action, led early, withstood a challenge, and have pulled away with good defense on the good side. Playing their kind of volleyball. They don't score with their jumping. They frustrate the opposition, working very, very hard on every play. Whitmarsh set the tone. First play of the game, he goes up and stuffs Jose Loyola. That deflated the team of Adam Johnson, Jose Loyola, a little bit right from the start. And Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh have, save for when uh, A.J. and Loyola made the run, have never looked back. Oh, A serve for Johnson. 
still time if you can crank aces. Remember, Adam Johnson is the only man in the history of beach volleyball to serve two points in one second. Paul, you and I were there. That was at Seal Beach, and I'm trying to remember. It was against uh, Leif Scott Hansen. Fredrickson and Leif Hansen. Yeah. Johnson has that dynamic serve. Now, it would seem that Whitmarsh, yeah, just keep it in play. And Loyola could not get it up. That's a good chance for Jose Loyola. You can't imagine how difficult this is. Track the ball as a blocker, go up, turn, finds it, but then cannot keep the ball in the court to his partner, Adam Johnson. It's been so close all day long. Look, the clock is running. For Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola, just not able to get it going. Three seconds just rolled off the clock. They need to put time back. Yeah, Marvin Hall, the umpire, is telling them to crank it back to 24, and I think that's exactly right. Add three seconds back. Thank you. There we go. 24 seconds to play, 13 to 8. You never know when one second can be a big deal. Johnson and Loyola are trying to go quickly, and they cannot convert. 14 to 8. Had to take the chance. Go on to try to keep things as low and compact as you possibly can in terms of time. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh looking very, very strong. 14 to 8, and uh, just under 15 seconds to play. Loyola serving. That ball served just out of bounds by Jose Loyola. Of course, letting everything all hang out. This one's over, except for the time ticking off the clock. Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh have played their kind of volleyball. Good balance offensively. Dodd playing good defense, and they were able to side out for a long, long time and really concentrated and play well from the bad side. Five seconds to play. Whitmarsh. And Loyola's mad, and he puts it into the stands. Good performance for Don and Whitmarsh. Very, very impressive. They win it 15-8. Don't go anywhere. We're going to have an interview with the winners a little bit later. We're going to show you Carl Hankel, Sinjin Smith, Karch Karai, Kent Steffes. We're going to show you some of that match from the Olympic Games. 15-8, Dodd and Whitmarsh with no problem. Bill Walton is trying to round up Mike Whitmarsh and Mike Dodd. I'm told he's got him now. Bill Walton, take it away. All right, Chris. Mike and Mike. Now, Whit, that's two, st two straight weeks you've hammered them on Saturday afternoon. What's been the difference? Uh, Mike and I have just been playing well the last couple weeks. I don't know. We lost that first game in Hermosa, and ever since then, we've been playing at a pretty high level, so hopefully we can keep it up tomorrow. And your passing today, Whit, was outstanding. Yeah, Adam was really serving some tough serves over there. I did not feel good towards the end of that game, but uh, we, we came through when we had to. Mike thought it's been a long season. You getting tired, worn out? No, not at all. Feel great. Uh, you know, we jumped out to that early lead, and that helps us continue our defense and kind of nullifies their good jump serving. They had to ease up a little bit, and uh, and we pulled through the match. It was great. Okay. Now, the AVP ends today, but you guys have more on your schedule. What's up next? Uh, we're going to Tenerife, Spain, uh, Puerto Rico, Indonesia, and then finishing up in Brazil. We're going to play five FIVB events this year. What a great life. Congratulations. Great season, guys. Back upstairs to Chris Marlowe. Thanks so much. All right, Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh are moving on. They win impressively 15 to 8.